Hi Virgo, welcome to your today's general reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. And Virgo, please bear in mind that this reading will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Okay Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me important, accurate, general messages for Virgo today. Show me more. Wow, Virgo. Hmm. Judgment is right here. I feel like, uh, Virgo, a lot of you are going uh, into spirituality. Um, spirituality doesn't mean religion. It could be, I mean, just being spiritual in general, okay? Um, a lot of looking from within, a lot of... Um, trying like trying to do the right thing okay also i'm sensing a lot of you are actually mm, mm, trying to be giving okay more giving more charitable that's another thing that i'm sensing and trying to be a good person not saying that you're not a good person i feel like most virgos a lot of virgos okay we are a sign of service so we usually are i'm also virgo so we usually are very kind okay very kind very compassionate i feel like you're tuning into that but also the temperance indicates balance i feel like you need a balance um in order for you to function properly okay structure as well i know it is very important for us and this judgment something has happened in your past okay that has made you awaken you now see things you see the truth you see the good and the uglies and now it's almost like now you know what to do now you know who you want to be not saying that you didn't know but now it's more apparent or more it's much clearer to you ever than before that this is the person you want to be, okay? Temperance is a major kind of judgment, it's a major kind of because of your past experiences, the good and the uglies, and a bit of a, with the temperance here, I do sense uh, there could have been a struggle to be also, try to be a good person, okay? Because there is a little bit of an energy maybe in the past where, you know, there are a lot of resentments maybe towards somebody or towards a situation that didn't work out or somebody treating you badly. I feel like a lot of you are starting to forgive yourself for that, okay? You know, uh, you could have been blaming yourself for it, but I feel like a lot of you are starting to realize with Ace of Cups here as well that you're starting to, you have this newfound love for yourself okay the oh you with the death here i feel like a lot of you again are transforming this is a huge change you also have the empress in reverse and what i'm sensing here also virgo with the moon in reverse something in the past again that could have been revealed to you all throughout your experiences in life and in love as well i do sense as a love situation mostly it's because of love okay your love situation that has molded you to becoming who you are if you don't feel like it right now i do sense in the near future um virgo you are going to have this sense of self-love and self-care where you are willing to cut anything anybody off okay uh, anything that doesn't serve your highest good and anymore and virgo with the empress here this is what i was saying that could be a struggle to like you know i i want to do i want to be kind to this person but they were so mean to me or this person did something to me but there's a little bit of a juggling act here but i feel like eventually you're gonna find your heart in your heart to actually the way of you trying to forgive somebody is to actually <laughs> doing your best to forget about it and just put a nail to the coffin and just just renewing yourself instead changing yourself instead instead of trying to change another person if this is not how you feel right now i feel like this could be um an advice for you to basically you know the changes have to come from within and that uh with you yourself changing you treat people how to respect you you, you treat people uh, you it's almost like you know if you you let people walk all over you you're you're letting them get away from it but now it's like i feel like you're getting that balance of how to be very diplomatic about things that's what i'm sensing as well 
very diplomatic basically you know you're gonna get what you want but at the same time it's not gonna hurt you or hurt the other person that's this balance that i'm sensing and the empress in reverse virgo you used to love so much care so much for others you know you give 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 so much and you forget about yourself but something happened again the moon is in reverse i feel like you've toughened up a lot more you you try to um, love yourself more this time around you try to scale back a lot i'm sensing saying scaling back a lot on what you used to give other people like you could have given them 10 you know last time but now you just give them five <laughs> instead okay you don't give your all you reserve the other five for yourself so you may give people something okay you may help you may give them you may be caring you may be forgiving but you don't give them everything that you have okay so now you know you learn how to scale back and what you should give how much you should give to others and now you're learning with the ace of cups here where you know hey I got to take care of myself first, you know, my well-being, my emotional well-being, especially emotional, emotional well-being. You no longer are wearing yourself too thin, okay? And Ace of Cups could also be an indication of a new beginning in love, Virgo. Uh, for a lot of you, maybe you are in the near future. Some of you, maybe it's already happening right now. Um, Again, this is a general reading, so the time frame may not be exact, but I do sense it could be a new love coming into your life where it's going to transform your life completely. Whatever that used to be in the past, your past person, I do, you know, exes and all that, it, they don't matter to you anymore, okay? It does look like you are going to find this uh, or meet this new love, which is going to transform your life forever. And this time around, this new love, you're not just going to give everything. <laughs> you are going to be very careful and very diplomatic in the way you deal with them. And you just, you know, you're going to spare some for yourself this time around. Okay. So in the past here, I do sense maybe you could have been dealing with uh, somebody. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. The emperor could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Lee. It could be any sign here. Okay. doesn't really matter. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody like you are Virgo. You're taking charge because the magician is actually your energy here. Okay. And there's a queen of cups here. You have loved somebody very deeply in your past, in the past. Okay. Whom could have, um, for some of you, they could have abused your trust. They could have, you know, uh, appear. They could have appeared like with the emperor here, like they were sure and that they were steady. And but turn out, you know, this can be anything. Okay, past person may have been either inconsistent, could have lied, or could have cheated. For for each and every one of you is different, but there's something about their character, okay? Something about their characters that have led to this um, relationship's uh, demise, okay? And but, but you learn so much from it. You became more and more powerful, the magician here. You start to, again, you start to becoming a more diplomatic person. It's like in the past, you could have been very straightforward or very blunt or just, you know, hey, this is what I believe and it's true and you are kind and you're sincere. <laughs> but people do get you the wrong way, you know, sometimes because a lot of times because they don't, you know, we can be a little bit too honest as well. So I feel like now you're learning how to be a bit more diplomatic with talking to people, treating anybody, okay? And you used to give so much and you rarely get the same back, okay? You rarely, when you do, it's very little <laughs> out of 10, maybe one or two, but generally now you know. Now you know how to, because the magician here, now you know how to use your bag of tricks, okay? To get things to go your way because in the past, it may not have gone your way, okay? So now you're a little bit, uh, you learn how to be more, how do you say, besides the word diplomatic, it's like uh, you're very, now you're using your, um, this emotional intelligence. So now you know better, you know, you know what to say, how to say things and how to deal with things where you're going to get things uh, done your way instead. It's not being manipulative or anything. I just feel like Virgo, a lot of you have been through a lot. You've been too kind, too straightforward, too honest, but you know, uh, not everybody appreciates that. Some, a lot of times people just, you know, take that, uh, take advantage of you because of that, because of your kindness. But now, you know, now you know how to be, you know, smarter, kind and kinder to yourself. Not saying that you were not smart before, 
before that you're just too genuine and just too kind and you feel like this is the right thing to do you know because you've got integrity you've got you know you've got pride as well but now you you know you, you found the balance you, you found that balance all right Virgo I love your reading I hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe currently I'm not doing any personal reading until until my next announcement in the meantime please take care and I hope to see you back here tomorrow I've been posting a video almost every single day all right Virgo bye take care